Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Sioka Kia in Ewing, New Jersey to check out one of these babies. This is a brand new 2023 Kia Rio S sedan, but this also has that desirable, I would say, S technology package plus a bunch of other options. So this Rio S is loaded up with just about everything you can get in a Kia Rio. So we're gonna check this out See what it brings to the table in this sub, sub compact mid uh, sedan market. So let's dig in. The front end of this Kia Rio S, current red is the color. Kia badge in the middle, that small flat black tiger nose grill underneath that with the chrome trim. Functionality top and bottom on the grill. We have also have functional side air curtains. And one of the big additions with this S technology package is we have LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, but standard bulbs for turn signals, but I like the LED lighting up front on this Rio S. Wheel and tire setup on this Rio S, another ad for the S technology package, you get 15 inch alloy wheels instead of the steel wheels with a plastic hubcap. You also get front disc brakes and rear disc brakes. Without that technology package, your rear brakes are gonna be drum in the Rio. We have a gloss black with silver alloy wheel. Looks really good, lifts up the car a lot from that standard Rio. These wheels are wrapped in Continental Pro Contact all season tires, 185 on the width, 55 series sidewall, 15s, all four corners, front wheel drive. Full side profile on this Rio, and boy, do those alloy wheels really lift up the car. The current red, I think, is a really cool color, sporty color on this little Rio S. And it is just a fun little car, and it has a pretty good looking design. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. As we move in closer, we are color matched on the side view mirrors. We have chrome door handles on the front and rear door. Let me know how you feel about that rather than body color. It's really blingy. Let me know if you think it belongs on a Rio. Left side fuel filler cup. Here is that lovely current red color with the flake in it. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to get a good shot of it. But as we come up top to the roof, we have the old fashioned antenna, color matched roof, no sunroof. All right, the rear end of the Rio. Again, the current red all over the back, the Kia badge in the middle, Rio on the left. We have standard lighting in the back. The LEDs on the S technology package only apply to the front. We do have fake side air vents, which I wish they just would have smoothed out. And then we have flat black along the rear bumper area down below the license plate. And then we have our exhaust tucked up underneath the right side of the car. All right, we're under the hood of this little 2023 Rio S sedan. And what do we have for a power plant? Well, all Rios get the same thing. It's a 1.6 liter, naturally aspirated inline four cylinder engine mated to a CVT transmission. 120 horsepower, 112 pound feet of torque, MPGs, 32 in the city, 41 on the highway, 36 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87, so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. All right, before we get to the interior of this current red Rio S, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much does this vehicle cost? Well, the Rio S base price is $17,390. Now, <clears throat> when you go Rio S, you get some included extra features. So what's included in the Rio S? That's in addition to the LX, you have remote entry, remote keyless entry, cruise control, center console with armrest and a storage bin, which isn't in the LX, a 60-40 split folding rear seat and rear USB charge port. Now, I mentioned we have the S technology package in here for an additional $1,800. What does that include? That includes your safety suite of technology. You have forward collision avoidance assist, pedestrian, lane keep assist, lane following assist, high beam assist, driver attention warning, lane departure warning. Then you also get alloy wheels, rear disc brakes, LED headlights and positioning lights, supervision meter cluster with 4.2 inch display, Kia Connect, Sirius XM with a three month subscription, automatic temp control, a smart key with push, push button start, 
rear occupant alert, and the Highline TPMS for the tire pressures. Now, this one has some additional options on top of that. We have the rear bumper application for 75, carpeted floor mats for 175, the cargo net for 55, and the cargo tray for 115. You got to include uh, freight and handling from Kia's Mexico assembly plant for $1,125. So your total manufacturer's MSRP is $20,735. Now the dealer has added a couple of accessories. They've added the wheel locks and the all weather floor mats. So the total MSRP, including the dealer accessories, $21,113. And that is a lot of money for a Kia Rio. Let's check out the interior. All right, starting with the foot box, a nice large dead pedal brick and accelerator. Our all season Rio floor mats are in the car. The carpeted ones are in the trunk. Down below as well, you have your releases for your trunk and your fuel filler door. Seats, you're never going to get power seats in a Rio. They're all manual for both the driver and the front passenger. Black cloth interior with the charcoal, or excuse me, light gray stitching. A little bit of a different design on the inside. The, it is pretty soft, but the cloth is pretty inexpensive, and you can feel that when you touch it. Door panels on this little Rio. Now, you don't get soft touch in Rio. Even with all these options, that's still hard about black plastic on the door everywhere, including the armrest. No cushioning at all. Brushed aluminum door handle, flat black on the switch gear. Over here, we have, again have hard black, black plastic, some silver trim to, uh, or actually brushed aluminum trim, I would say, to break up all the black, more hard plastic, and then a nice large glove box. As we move over to our infotainment system, we have heat and air vents on either side, even though it's more like that iPad stuck on style. Now this is Kia's eight inch infotainment system without navigation, all the navigation comes through your phone. But the upside to this is you have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. You can Bluetooth your phone, you can go to your media, you can go to your setup, and you can go to your device connections. You have Kia Connect in here. You have a Wi-Fi hotspot. You can go to your general vehicle settings and you can set up anything you may want to. Here it's pretty basic, but the big, big plus is the wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. As we go to reverse, look how nice this backup camera is on a cheap car. Look at that. Nice and clear with trajectory, no problem. We have a touchscreen and you have your hard controls as well. And then you have your radio volume and your tuning. Down further, four-way hazards. You have single zone climate control in this Rio S. And then down further, you have a 12 volt, a USB-A and an area for storage. You're not going to get wireless charging in a Rio S, no matter what you do. Then down further, here is the gear shift to go through the CVT. Then we have our sport button right over here. And then down further, you have your manual emergency brake, which I like, two cup holders, and look at this key fob. You get that S-Technology package, and you get an actually pretty nice looking Kia key fob for this little Rio S. Lock, unlock, pop the trunk, panic button, Kia badge on the back. Looks really nice. And then, like you said, you get this armrest. And this has soft touch with the stitching, but it isn't that soft. You open it up. And you get a little area in here for storage. Kia steering wheel. We have soft touch on the steering wheel. Nice 10 and 2 notches. Kia badge in the middle. Some aluminum trim to lift the wheel up. On the left, telephone and voice commands. On the right, your cruise control and safety suite controls. And the controls for the digital portion of your dash. On the stocks, headlight controls. Wiper controls. Down over here. Brighten and dim the dash, traction control off. This is a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then in the center, you have the analog digital combo. Analog gauges for your speedometer, tachometer, fuel level, and coolant temperature. And then you have a small four inch display in the center where you can go through other information that you may want to see. So very nice and easy to use here in this little Rio S. All right, overhead console. I got a spot for your shades. And if you want this lighting to come on when you open and close the door, this button needs to remain in the center. So when you open the door, the non-LED lighting will come on, close the door, 
that will go off. Would have been a nice touch with this S technology package to maybe pop a couple of LEDs in there. Let me know what you think. Sun visor with vanity and a light and it slides as well. Got you covered. All right, backseat time in this Rio S sedan. I have the seat set for my driving position. So let's see how much room we got. Low bridge on the head. So we're in, and even though this is a Kia's smallest sedan, I still have enough room for my knees, and they're not touching the seat, even though it's close. Enough headroom at five foot eleven, but I did have to move, uh, bend my head over to get in the car, or else I was going to bang it up here. We have that same cloth material all the way down, no plastic, but no seat pocket. We do have a seat pocket behind the front passenger, and then on the back. We do have a USB-A for connectivity. As we look at the rear door panel, same as the front, fairly plain, hard black plastic. Again, you're not gonna get any soft touch in a Rio, no matter what you do. Here's the front door panel. Here's the back door panel, looking good. Now, same cloth seats, same nice headrest. Again, the cloth is, you can feel it, it's inexpensive cloth for sure, but it'll take a beating. I think, and we do not have an armrest. So if you want a cup holder here in the back of the Rio, you got to stick it down here in the cu cup holder they have on each side of the car in the doors, rear doors. So that's where you have that action. But overall, for a teeny little car, I fit pretty good back here at five foot eleven. All right, time to pop the trunk. Trunk releases right here. Pop that up. The trunk is already up, so it's really light. We'll just get it up all the way. And you got a good amount of space. Here's our cargo net that we mentioned that was optioned. Here are the floor mats that we mentioned, the carpeted floor mats. And then we have the all season cargo mat here. And then underneath here, we have a little spare tire, if you can see that right there. Sorry for all that crappy view of that, but man, I hate these friggin' things. But we have a good amount of space in the back of this little Kia Rio S. And unlike the LX, the rear seats come down. You come to each side of the car. Right there. Pull that. And just lay them down. Come around the other side. Pull that. Just lay them down. Now, there is a bit, a bit of a kick up, but if you got some larger items, they're going to fit in there okay. You just got a low bridge. But overall, for a really small sedan, really got some nice room here in the trunk. I did mention on the window sticker that this car has the rear bumper application to protect it from when you're loading and unloading stuff out of the trunk. And this is what it looks like on the back of the, the rear bumper, and it says Rio. So we have this nice mesh material plastic mesh material to protect it. And then it says Rio on it, which I think is a real nice touch. All right, window sticker on this 2023 Rio S, and we're gonna zoom in, let you see everything that is optioned into this vehicle. We'll hit on the left, we have our standard options. And then we move over to the S technology group. There is the 20,735, and then our dealer added accessories. So we're a total of 21,113. So let's take her out for a spin. All right, we are driving this 2023 Kia Rio S with the S technology package. <clears throat> So, great visibility out the front glass, side view mirrors, rear window, no problem. I have all this technology that they put in here for the S technology package, right? I mentioned they have that pre-collision braking alarm and the lane keep assist and the lane following assist and all that stuff they put in here. But what do you think they didn't put in here? Which really, I think, is a big mistake. No blind spot monitoring. 
So this whole thing with the Rio in this S technology package, giving you all this good technology, but they don't give you the thing you probably use the most out on the road. A blind spot monitoring on either side view mirror. Ain't there at all. So that I think is a real big missed opportunity for Kia and they ought to just wake up because why put in all this other stuff if you're not gonna include the blind spot monitors? It doesn't make any sense. Let me know how you feel about that in the comments. But otherwise, you got the LED lighting up front, you have the, the better brakes, the better wheels, so this should stop better and we'll see that later in the ride. Uh, you also have uh, your charge port in the back seat. You have back seats that fold down. I know that seems very simplistic, but this is the cheapest Kia you can buy. And so things that you take for granted in more expensive cars are things that you're not going to get in a standard Rio. It's just because it's so inexpensive. So... <clears throat> I do like the fact that the 8-inch screen has that wireless charging, or, or excuse me, wireless CarPlay and Android Auto, but that comes with the LX as well, the same 8-inch screen, so there's no change there. So they do bring some really nice features for the extra $1,800, for sure. I really like how those alloy wheels lift the car up on the outside as far as the way it looks on the road. I think the current red is a really good color for this Rio. And I also think that um, the whole layout in here is really easy to get to. I can get to the to the infotainment screen. I can get to all my controls <clears throat> for my climate control. It's easy to get to the gear shift and all that. So no problem here on this little Rio S as far as getting to everything and it shouldn't be because it's so small. But now we don't have anybody behind us, so we're gonna do an emergency stop in three, two, one. All right, that is a little intense. It stayed straight, but boy, you could feel the car wobble a little, a little bit. And now we take off. And this is going to be 0 to 60 and forever in a day. It just doesn't have much power. But it does have enough power to get the car up and moving to a fairly decent speed. So, but you're not going to set any fires in the uh, traffic light Grand Prix. No, everybody, everybody else will blow your doors off when it comes to that. But, now... We got wind noise, we have tire noise. This is a small car with skinny tires. Skinny tires reduce rolling friction so it helps with gas mileage, but it also is gonna bring some more pronounced thuds when you go over bumps. And when you're on a smooth road, everything is fine. But I'm already, I'm just going 45 miles an hour and I can hear the wind already. So when we get this thing up on the highway, you can bet your bottom dollar that this thing is going to uh, uh, have some serious wind noise when we get up to speed on the highway. But here we go. We're going to come up here, hang a right, see how she does getting on 295. Pulls the line pretty well. Handling is fairly light, but it is direct. <clears throat> now we're coming up on the highway. I have to look extra carefully because I don't have blind spot monitors. What a missed opportunity. And now we're up to speed, but now you can really hear the wind. very competent getting it up to high weight speeds I don't feel like I'm gonna get blown off the road 
but every other car on the road is bigger than me. So I really got to be careful in driving around here because every car is bigger than me on this highway. <laughs> But it's a, it's a nice smooth ride out here on the highway. No issues at all. And you're gonna get some good gas mileage and get some good room in this little four-door sedan. Now obviously, the hatchback <clears throat> is more popular than the four-door sedan. Now, when I did the last Rio hatchback review, I had mentioned they were going to get in a, an S technology. I meant a hatchback. They ha this one was not on the list of coming in, and boom, it's it's at the dealer un, un, uh, unannounced with the technology package and everything else. So this was not on Sioka Kia's radar. It just showed up on a truck. Uh, so here we are in this sedan with the S technology package, which is gonna which is more rare to find than the hatchback with the S technology package. But easy peasy, one, two, three out here on the road. Just be careful. Make sure you check your blind spots thoroughly because you don't have the monitors. And everybody else is bigger than you. Now we're coming off. We're gonna see how this handles in the turns. Whoa! All right, we don't have wide tires, so oh boy, man. If you go too fast, you're going to fly off the road in this thing. But it does corner pretty well. It does corner pretty well for a car with no power. So they have put a little bit of handling into this to make it sort of fun. But I wouldn't get too, too carried away or else you'll hone this thing right off into a hedge or in the woods because those tires start to slide pretty easy. So, what do you guys think of this 2023 Kia Rio S? I think it's a pretty cool offering. The downside is once you get a Kia Rio S sedan loaded up with the options that this one has, and this has just about every option you can think of, then you're over $21,000. Now you're at Kia Forte sedan money for a stripped down Forte but it's still a bigger sedan than this with more power so that's where Kia runs into the problem with this car people will come look at this car and say oh well that's cool but then they'll get in a, a Forte and say hey this is bigger and it's got more power I'll buy this one instead it's almost the same money so that's where the Kia gets in trouble with sales on the Rio, is the Forte just sells at four or five to one of the Rio, in, on average, across the United States. So, oh, one last thing. If you are hearing some uh, rattling around, I have the dealer plate tucked in between the windshield and the dashboard, and that's kind of rattling a little bit as you go down the road. So that's what that action is. But let me know what you think. Do you think the Kia Rio sedan, S sedan, I should say, with this S technology package and a few extra options would be something you would want? Or are you going to go a little bit bigger in Forte? Or are you going to just say, look, this car is way too small for me. I need, you know, something different than this. Uh, I may just go ahead and buy a Nissan Versa, uh, you know, that's a, basically the same size. Um, you know, I'm going to the competition. Let me know what you think you would do. But we're going to start heading back to the dealership on this ride. It's been a lot of fun getting in one of these Rios with the S Technology Package. I want to thank Sioka Kia here in Ewing, New Jersey for allowing the channel access to this 2023 Kia Rio S sedan with the s technology package for a review today i'd like to thank all of you for watching if you enjoyed this video please consider giving it a like please also consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so you'll never miss another shabby's rides video and i'll see all of you on the rebound take care everyone